Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 24 in chapter 28. Chapter 28 is about sources of magnetic fields. There we have a triangle loop of sidelines A, right? Carries current I. And then it placed a distance D away from a very long straight wire carrying a current, determining the force on the loop. Now, first of all, what force acts on the loop? This is a magnetic force, right? And the, where the magnetic field come from? Come from the bottom wires. Do you agree? So that means the magnetic field is due to the bottom wires. So we can use the right hand rule we determine. This magnetic field is just pointing out, right? At this location is everywhere, everywhere. Now, can you determine the direction for the forces at each side? Yes. So you can use the right hand rule, you can see this is F1, this is F2, this is F3, agree? So we can call this wire is wire 1, wire 2, and wire 3, agree? Yes. We now look at the wire 1. For wire 1, we can see this, uh, we can determine the magnetic field by the bottom wire, this one, mu naught, I plus divided by 2 pi R. I is the distance, right? From the, I is the distance from the point to the bottom wire. Now for wire one, the distance from wire one to bottom wire is just a d. So we write it there. I equal to d. As we can say, f one by ampere's rule is b i a, right? So input r inside, we get answer there. Now we look at the wire two. It looks a little bit difficult. Because as we can see, the distance from the wire to keep changing, right? The distance R keep changing from this point to this point. So the only way to solve it is we can consider this a small fraction as dx, right? And then we just can do the integral for this dx from this 0 to a. To, so, to get the force, right? So now we look at the force act on this dx. This is dx, so this length is x. Agree? Yes. Now the distance from the bottom wire to the dx, we can say it's d. d just comes to zero, right? Then need to plus this length. This length we can write, write as x sine 60 degree, right? Because this is a triangle with the equal side length. So this angle is a 60 degree. So now this length, this length is x plus sine 60 degree. So now r is solved. Now you can see, we can solve the force F2 as integral. So this is a bi dx, right? Because the length for this part, small fraction is dx. And then integral from 0 to a. And then we put b and i inside. So we can see the b is this one, right? This one, we, we just put it in and with the r equal to this term and times i dx, right? And then after the integral, we get answer there. Now you can see, we look at F3, and very obviously, we can see F2 and F3 is a mirror symmetry, right? And the side length A is equal, I is equal. So of course, the magnetic field for F3 equals the same, same just as this one, right? Now you can see, we get three forces, F1, F2, and F3. Can you get the net force by this three force? Yes. So you can see this is a F2, right? There. This is F3. And we look at the X component. When we look at the X component, F2X and F3X cancels, right? So it looks like we just need to care about F2Y and F3Y. And uh, very likely we can find F2y is just a negative F2 cosine 60 degree because this is a 60 degree. So this is a 60 degree. Now this side length can be F2 cosine 60 degree, right? You can see it at the opposite direction with the 
bottoms with F1, we consider this is a positive direction F1, right? So now this is a minus F2 cosine 60 degree, minus F3 cosine 60 degree, and input F1, F2, F3 inside. Simplified, you get final answer there. This force is just the attractive force from a loop with a bottom wire. Thank you.